Thanks for joining us tonight. Several DFLers are introducing new gun legislation in St. Paul aimed at reducing violence in a number of ways. Quinn Gorham explains how those proposals could change the way gun owners handle and keep track of their firearms. Not one, not two, but three separate pieces of gun legislation were introduced Wednesday at the Minnesota State Capitol. While they all deal with different issues, they aim to work in tandem to reduce gun violence. The first area addressed in the legislation regards lost and stolen firearms reporting. Under the bill, owners would be required to report stolen firearms within 48 hours or else risk legal punishment. The law pairs with another proposal to ensure proper storage of firearms and ammunition. Finally, the group of lawmakers addressed a bill that would provide medical coverage through Medicaid and Medicare for violence prevention services. The combined push is one DFL lawmakers feel has been coming for a long time. So we all know that gun violence is on the rise and that we uh, want to uh, put um, uh, sensible uh, gun uh, violence prevention uh, measures into place. And so uh, all of these uh, additional uh, Incidents are just reinforcing the fact that this is a long-standing issue that we've all been working really hard to uh, to address. While Wednesday's announcement comes just days after a tragic shooting in Burnsville killed three first responders on the job, these bills aren't new. Lawmakers actually filed them days before the shooting even happened, but they say that the shooting in Burnsville is a constant reminder of why these laws and others like them are important. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Warham. Authors are confident that some measures such as firearm storage standards will have bipartisan support.